Good morning, we're having a productive day. I'm walking over to the hardware store on my lunch because I'm gonna try to build a like hanging rod to make our little like linen closet in our bathroom somewhere we can put our coats. But we've got visitors tonight. Um, it is the middle of the work day, but I'm on my lunch. And we're trying to make today better than yesterday. This is our, I always call it a pantry, linen closet. And you can see there's like just a shelf, but no storage or anything. And we're gonna change that. So what I got at the hardware store, this pole, this pole some hardware here, and I'm just drilling two holes in and we're gonna bring, we're gonna attach this like so, so we can hang all of our jackets in that closet. And so I've already started this process, but I figured I'd show you, why not? on the top there, but that's fine. Like, I could have drilled in to make it flush, but I'm okay with that. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this this pole down, probably this weekend at, I'm gonna go to Sarah's mom's house. But it feeds in right there. I'm gonna lower it a little bit, and then we're gonna put the, uh, hang, hang some jackets, and it's gonna be great. And we'll be able to clean off this table finally. This has been a very productive lunch hour. For me. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. It's not perfect, but it wasn't meant to be perfect, but let me just wait. Look at this linen closet. We were kind of surprised when we opened it. There wasn't even a bar. There was no storage or nothing. We're gonna get like storage cubes and stuff to make this more organized. But now we've got a place for our jackets. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna cut that down. I'm gonna cut probably almost two feet off that this weekend um, just to make it clean but very happy with how that turned out. You love your Nana? Huh? You love it? Oh, nice. You're so tired. Well, today has been a better day, right? Yes. We've been productive. Mm -hmm. Work was we not. We were productive last night too. We, like, were we feel productive. really good about the apartment. Wait until you see everything I've done. But um, work was like better, but not better. But it's gonna be a little ant party today. Mm -hmm. Both of Sarah's sisters are coming over, and then Chris, uh, Violet and Luke are coming over, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm almost done work with my work day. I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get, try to get some more things hung before anybody else shows up. But I don't think we've shown the hanging we've done. I showed the the shelf. The okay. That thing on my lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna show the dining room, all of it. All right, so look at this clean, clean living room. So we got, I got, we got rid of the baskets. We we moved um, some of the bins that for the other bookshelf and into James's room because that's being like probably the last pseudo storage until yeah. we get the bookcase because we won't get it till the end of April. Yeah. But this, look how much, look how wide this is. Remember when we moved in, and we were so bummed that we thought the couch couldn't fit, but then we got it to fit because look how open this is. That is a game changer in yeah. how the flow of this room looks. We're and really feels. close to selling this. We've bookcase. got a bunch of different offers on it. These are going above the TV. And I might just get antsy and hang them like tomorrow or the next day because we know the measurements. Sarah, yeah. Sarah, she took a photo, like a graphic designer, and then like ca carbon copied that over here. And then we took measurements of where we think all, those things are all going to sit. So we could hang those six musical sheets. See, there's been there's some bins. That have to get organized. I put away his newborn clothes and his zero to three clothes. He's a big old kid. That was a big project I did today. Yes. We hung this right here, our Christmas. Um, is there a Santa Claus? George Lasso's the moon. It's good to be home. We also have a little wedding, like homage right here. That's where we got engaged, the Drake Hotel. This is our actual 
wedding invitation and then a photo from our wedding with our wedding party. On the other side of our, our gallery wall, down here, look at this. This has been a huge, I'd rather see a little bit of storage in James's room. I almost have an echo right now because look at all this open space. And right now, actually, that I'm wrapping on my work day, I'm gonna measure all this out and this is gonna go on this wall. And then we have an idea. We're gonna, that Chicago print that I got Sarah for Christmas is gonna go here with that American flag on the wall. And this is either gonna stay empty or we might put something on it eventually, but a lot of progress over the last 24 hours. I got my helper one, who's gonna be the foreman. Helper two. Help or three. Helper four. We're making burrito bowls over here tonight. I got a ton of rice. Some fajita peppers go in. This is the chipotle recipe. I made Vivi this quick little bowl of just rice, cheese, and avocado. There you go. Cheese and avocado. And then potatoes in the air fryer for the meat with onions. I'm also gonna toss some green chilies on here. All that was on here to cook was olive oil and half a packet of taco seasoning. Got black beans, salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, and hot sauce. Just cooking slowly here. Some lettuce and tomatoes, avocado, salsa, and some cheese for the toppings. Lastly, I just whipped together this little hummus dressing. It's avocado hummus. It's actually super, super spicy um, with lemon juice, some water, and garlic. What do you eat? <laughs> He loves your dancing. Oh man. You hear it? He loves it, Vivi. Oh. We got some cozy vibes going on and finally watching. Ryan the Last Dragon. Look at these two lovebirds over here. <laughs> the aunts, uncle, cousins, they're all gone now. Time to just relax with mom and dad, Jamesy boy. Okay? Did you have a good day? I do. I Really? Oh, really? Oh, your big kid gonna roll? Huh? Gonna show off? Oh, wait till you see this gray jumpsuit that's about to walk around the corner. Gray jumpsuit, gray jumpsuit. We're gonna watch Phil. Hey. You gotta sleep in, babe. Phil made us hungry. So we actually are trying this tribe hummus. I don't think we've ever had this before. It was on sale at the Jewel for like two for six. This is buffalo style. So good. Today I was just like eating it on bread. You just scoffed. She didn't want the chip. And shake a shake on every chip. You know what time it is now. March 23rd, well, long one. Today's quote is by Roald Dahl. I began to realize how important it is to be an enthusiast in life. If you are interested in something, no matter what it is, go at it at full speed ahead. Embrace it with both arms, hug it, love it, and above all, be compassionate about it. Lukewarm is no good, hot is no good either. White hot and passionate is the only thing to be. Well, I think I can honestly say I agree with that. I need to get like one of those little bumpers that go in the corner to hold this bottom one because it's so close to the fridge, it keeps moving. You guys remember this? I love it so much. Anyway, um, it's late. It was a better day today. Kind of a crazy day today, but I'm so happy with the progress we've made in this apartment. It feels like 
it feels enough set up where I'm not like, we're still moving in, we're transitioning in. James's room has a lot of work to do still, but that's kind of like, we're kind of stalled there until we get the second bookshelf, which Ikea won't get in stock until the end of April, they say. But for the most part, like our bedroom, the kitchen, the dining area, the bathroom, the living room, like feels so in such a good place that I feel like we can finally start living in this rather than just like living around it, if that makes sense. Anyway, it's good to be home. I think tomorrow we need to get downtown. And we may be planning a fun weekend trip next month. We'll know more details in the coming days because there's an artist who just released a pre-sale code or like list. But I don't know the pricing and, and the quantity of tickets. <laughs> goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>